Welcome to the introductory video of AMI based smart energy meter. The project is completed under the supervision of Dr. Suhail Aftab Qureshi, Dean of Electrical Engineering, UET Lahore. So let us start uh, with the description of our project hardware. So this, uh, these three here are the load bulbs that is each uh, of 200 watts and coming to the GSM module, the communication part of this project will be uh, done through the GSM module SIM 900D and the display uh, screen used here is 20 cross 4 liquid crystal display and coming to the last part uh, and the very crucial and the, the heart of this project is Arduino Mega 2560. The the uh, the programming is done through the Arduino uh, C programming language compiler and uh, the Android application is made for the Android phone a normal uh, Samsung cheap phone okay so let us start uh, this project uh, by hooking this uh, the GSM module and the LCD screen so as you can see the power is on and here the load is also having the power okay so let me first program it uh, to our microcontroller so I'm uploading the program here right now Okay, as you can see the screen is showing the system initial and the system is initializing currently. System is currently in the initializing stage and you can see that uh, the voltage is shown here and the current and the wattage and the unit the current watts shown is is the consumption of this uh, project that we have implemented here so uh, we have not uh, nulled uh, the value because we wanted to make sure that the project uh, consumption of the pro this meter how much units it consumes how much wattage consumes so uh, we we have shown this okay so let's uh, coming to the uh, part of our project that is the data is being uh, uh, utilized and being showed on the two uh, main frame uh, aspects of our technology the one is through the database that we have developed on a ftp server and that is an online server that we have uh, used here and the other uh, application that we have uh, made is for the Android phone as you can see the message is received here and if I go uh, to the application that is here AMI smart energy meter as you can see the message is coming from the and in work and the values are saved successfully so I will refresh it so as soon as it, I refresh it the values are shown here that is 22.58 volts right now and 33 watts and 0 0.05 and as soon as the next message comes and uh, the values uh, the next values are saved and we uh, move on so i will now turn on the load and increase the uh, load uh, the current through our system i have increased 400 watts and you can see that the voltage here is almost 400 watts that is a little calibration and uh, uh, the amount of power is coming a little less so the, these uh, bulbs are showing almost of 400 watts so i will turn on the all the three loads so that is move on to almost 550 watts right now and as you can see that uh, 550 watts 2.4 ampere current is flowing and with the voltage of 227 226 so moving on now uh, as you can see that uh, with uh, every message coming the voltage here on the application is also increased it's now coming to 429 watts another message is here from the gsm module the values are saved i will just refresh it and you can see that that the voltage here is 470 watt and the unit consume is now one and the ampere is 2.40 amperes are flowing and the bill right here uh, 
on the very screen here uh, is rupees 5 so uh, the static values there are the name of the consumer and the address here right now and rest of the values will change according to the circuit values so another message here so as you can see now it's two units and 512 watts and the ampere is 2.40 so uh, the message will keep on coming and it will be uh, uploading to the uh, our uh, android application so now uh, moving on uh, to our code here uh, as you can see that uh, we have uh, developed the code here for this meter and uh, in the code we have implemented all the functions for the gs module and for the uh, all the functions related to the calculation of the power and the unit and the bill consumption and this right here is the very format that is used for the uh, for the transfer of the message uh, service because if this format is used we have de developed the android application that can sense automatically this format of the sms and it will save the values in the android application so now moving to the part uh, that uh, you can see that still uh, the three bulbs are on and you can still see uh, i can still feel the heat as well and the current is 2.4 and the units are keep on increasing it's uh, it's incremented with every 500 watt is consumed a unit is incremented so now uh, i will uh, move out to the, the another important phase of this project is the ftp database so as you can see that here uh, i have uh, entered the admin password and the uh, 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 username admin so I will now log in and as you can see that we have already populated some of the values. So these are the values that can be shown uh, in the uh, uh, database anywhere in the world you can access it through the online server that we have developed on the FTP. So it shows you the AMI smart energy meter and it uh, shows you all the units consumed, the uh, current, the voltage and the bill and all the uh, required information that you need from a meter. So now I will uh, uh, log out. Uh, uh, before I log out, uh, you can see that there is an option for the uh, for the use of the export uh, file to the Excel sheet. So you can download this file and you can keep it in the records as well. So now I will log out here and I will show you the I will show you the user panel right here now. So now you can see that. I have, I have entered the user panel and we have populated the user values and you can see that uh, this these values are to be shown to, only to the user and user won't have the access to change the values if there is an error in the uh, values uh, saved on the user you will user will have to go to the headquarters and uh, tell them that uh, they need to change the values and the admin panel will only have the access to uh, change the values and here you also have the, the export option for the excel file and you can still download this file and uh, keep it in your record so the option for the excel file is for both the user and for the admin as you can still see the project is currently running and uh, it's almost uh, about 10 minutes right now and the units consumed are 12 and the, it's now 13 it's moved to 13 and the current consume is uh, the drawing from the uh, the meter is about 2.40 so uh, this is all from the uh, energy meter and i hope uh, this video will help uh, other people in developing this project for their future purposes thank you